What's up, everyone? How's it going? Happy Aloha Friday to you. I am finishing up at my cleaning work site, my Friday site, and headed home. Jess has a meeting at 1.30, so I'm hoping that I can get home in time to hang out with my son so that she can go to that meeting. Yeah. Hey, I'm back in my vehicle. A huge thank you to June Camacho, who ordered the parts and did a bunch of labor on my vehicle. Um, we, re- well, we he replaced the back wheel bearing. That's why you're not hearing that crazy humming that you used to hear. Um, and then there was a another big car word that was under the car that needed to be replaced as well. And uh, he fixed my flashing check engine light because some other big car word as well. So I don't know anything about cars. So it's awesome to have people in your life that do. And uh, we also found out in the process that our front wheel bearing as well needs to be fixed too. So that part is on the way. So yeah, this is my um, magical provision car. Someone gave this to us. And uh, it's been a complete blessing to have this vehicle. So we're we're making it runnable for hopefully another 100,000 miles. That would be amazing. And 100,000 miles is hard to do on a little island. So maybe this car will last us for the rest of our lives. That would be cool, huh? All right. Today we're talking about doing the things that make you feel good. What are the things that make you feel good? Do you even know? Have you thought about that? When was the last time you did something that made you feel good? And most likely what's coming to your mind right now is something that's indulgent that if you really sat and thought about it, it might not actually make you feel good. So the first thing that comes to mind doing the things that make you feel good is like eating a jar of candy um, you think would make you feel good. But when you're done doing that, act, how do you actually feel? Like the initial high might be great, but afterward you feel guilty. Um, So yeah, really, I think taking that step right there and redefining like what actually makes me feel good uh, is an important step to feeling good. But I think that it's important to do the things that make you feel good, actually make you feel good, because I really believe that it builds momentum. And this is just coming out of uh, last night's Facebook Live. Um, I know that there are two things that make me feel good. Number one is doing that extra push of uh, just making sure that the we have a little kitchen living room area, uh, just making sure that that's squared away, that the kids' toys are picked up, that the dishes are done, um, that it just looks good and peaceful in there, that the pillows are put back correctly on the couch, that, you know, vacuumed if I needed to vacuum, and then that, you know, the water filter's full, the coffee is prepped for the next morning, those kind of things. Having a good evening routine, that makes me feel good because it's one extra push of discipline. That sounds really, I don't know, I sound funny doing that, but most nights I really struggle to just do that simple act of that evening routine. I don't know why dishes is such a big (laughs) stumbling block in my life or beachhead. I really, and I, I think I just, I think this is a good mindset thing. I need to start telling myself that I love doing dishes and that it's not a big deal. For some reason, when I see a pile of dishes, it's like, I do not want to do that. And then you sit and you stall and then it just gets worse. And so, yeah, I'm learning to overcome dishes. Something I tweeted the other night was, how am I supposed to fulfill the call that God has on my life if I can't do the dishes in the evening? Um... Yeah, just being faithful with the little things and learning how to, um, yeah, push through little little things that annoy you. So I'm, I'm really growing in that, and I'm excited. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear a little bit of whirring, so it'll be good that we can replace those front uh, wheel bearings as well. So, yeah, but just having that the house picked up, I think does a couple things for me. Number one, it is, I did something that I am proud of. I pushed through something that was quote unquote difficult. And on the difficulty scale, it's just a, it's a mental block that I need to figure out why it's a big deal. And really just action is going to be what kills that mental block. Pretty soon, 
in a few, you know, few weeks or whatever for doing that, it's going to be like, dude, this is no big deal. So just pressing forward on that is going to be, be great. And that makes me feel good knowing that I did what I set out to do. Uh, the opposite, if I go to bed and I didn't do those things, then there's a subconscious guiltiness. And I think it's James Clear that says action is a vote for your like future, future self or something like that. And so that's not the exact quote. I'll figure it out and I'll put it in the comments if I remember. But yeah, just taking that action. So that's one thing I've identified that makes me feel good is doing my evening routine, making sure that the room is squared away, set up. It's just the, I'm in control. I'm telling my mind like I'm a doer and I do things. And even though I was tired, I still did it. Even though I could be and not do it, you go to bed feeling good. And so then you wake up feeling good because you wake up in the morning knowing that you completed that task last night. You're not leaving yesterday's work for today and you're waking up to a, you've cleared to zero as uh, Leo Balbuda, I don't know his last name, guy from Zen Habits um, would say clearing to zero. Yeah, and that just starts your day with a fresh, fresh start instead of waking up and being like, oh gosh, now I need to do dishes first thing. Um, so yeah. And also me getting up at 4am in the morning, I wrote a blog post about my ideal morning routine and I have not been doing that very consistently, hardly at all, uh, recently. And so that's something I need to get back into. I did set my alarm for 4am last night, but I shut it off in the middle of the night. I was up from about 2am to 3am. I woke up with like a horrible leg cramp. Um, and so I just, I got up and I was like, either I stay up and just push through the day or I go back to sleep. But I ended up getting up at 4.30 because my son woke up and I hung out with him. So there it is. Do the things that make you feel good. And what happens is you're just putting kind of stakes in the ground and you're climbing, climbing a proverbial set of stairs and you're moving upward as your day goes on instead of feeling defeated when you don't do the things that you know you need to do or you know you want to do. Um, you know, the feeling that's associated with that is, is, is guilt and it's gross and you don't feel good about yourself when you don't do the things you know you need to do or that you want to do that will set you up. So comment and let me know what are the things that are helpful throughout your day that are either hard for you or something that you often neglect that if you just started doing this one or two things that it would make life that much better. And I think it's good for us to identify these things and then get after it because I think it really creates momentum for, you know, if you have a good morning routine, then you're probably gonna have a good day. And if you have a good day, you might have a good week. And if you have a good week, you might have a good month, you know, and so on. But if you flub on your morning routine and wake up past your alarm and then don't eat breakfast and then are rushing to work and you know all of those things those are all negative things and then those add up and then because you're late for work you're getting in there and then you're not having a good day at work and then your performance at work is bad and so I think just identifying some of the things that would maybe the the lead domino what, it, what are those things in your life that make you feel good? And what are some things that you can take action on and really commit to, even if it's a small thing, I think that's gonna build momentum in our lives. So yeah, I started that last night, just continually recommitting. I was gonna push some goals off that I set. I talked about this last night um, to 2020. And it's like, why not do these as before the end of the year goals instead of New Year's goals? Why wait a month to do these things when, you know, a month and a half when you could knock these out and then have momentum going when you enter the new year. So those are some things that I'm going to be doing. Uh, those three things are, I'm going to start a LinkedIn and I'm going to start getting on TikTok and exploring that, which is a new social media platform. I, I have no clue at all what that is, uh, but I'm going to, going to check it out and I'm going to start turning these into a podcast. So be looking for that before the year is up. Let me know, comment with some of your goals and uh, comment and let me know what are the things that you often neglect or are hard to do that you know would ultimately make you feel better. And why don't you just comment and let me know what are some of the things that you are deceived in thinking make you feel better, but really the long-term result of that is not actually good. So there it is. There it is. Happy Aloha Friday, guys. I really love Fridays because it's Sabbath 
and I get to shut my phone off. I, I get to, I choose to shut my phone off and connect with family and eat some good food and just set apart a day to be different and it's super refreshing. It's one of the best disciplines I think that I've implemented. It's one of those things that helps me feel good. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend and I'll chat with you on Sunday. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.